Jacques Fresco and I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today and present the Venus Project. If you want a world without war, without hunger, without poverty and deprivation, this is what you must do. If you fail to do this, nothing will happen. I have no power. Roxanne has no power. It depends on what you do when you leave here. We are all well aware of the shortcomings all over the world and the state of the problems that we have. I believe we are here today to try and find solutions to those problems. This is what has to be done. All the Earth's resources must be declared as a common heritage of all the world's people. All the artificial boundaries that separate people have to be eradicated. Everyone has to be taken care of on Earth. We have to put an end to police, prisons, and military systems as a method of solving problems. What is needed is a workable alternative to the way we conduct human affairs. Our problems cannot be solved through political methods. It might have been good a hundred years ago, but today politicians are not there to change things, no matter how many times they use that word. They're there to keep things as they are. Let me put it your way. If you took any politician in any country, say, how would you stop automobiles from hitting each other? I don't know. How would you make buildings completely fireproof? I don't know. They don't know how to make a higher yield per acre. They don't know how to make better transportation. They don't know how to design new cities. How would you bridge the difference between nations? They don't know. They're jackasses. They belong in the past. So there are ways of bridging the difference between nations. So our main threat to all of us is scarcity, either real or artificial. Our societies evolved hundreds of years ago, and our technology is racing forward. If we used our technology wisely with environmental concern and human concern, we could create abundance all over the globe. We could create so many goods and services that we wouldn't have to put a price tag on them. If you're brought up in scarcity and in a monetary system of competition, you think that's right? That's the way they bring you up. They raise you so you fit in the cog of the wheel called the free enterprise system. It's the most socially offensive system. It's very difficult to realize that when you're brought up in it. If you run a bucket of shit up to your neck, it's normal. We can provide for all human need while also protecting the environment. This can be achieved through the intelligent management of the Earth's resources. Eventually, we will outgrow the need for the use of money. Some people say that the things I say are too far out. You'll never see that. Well, certainly, if you do nothing, you'll never see that. And if we don't accept responsibility for our own future, others will do our thinking for us.